Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the random numbers. First of all, uh, please check out my first uh, lecture on the uh, lab view where we talked about uh, the, some basics about the lab view. You can check the uh, link in the description or in the i button. So here we have a meter which is a fancy looking meter and we have no source to feed the readings to this meter. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to generate our randomly uh, random uh, numbers uh, to feed this uh, uh, meter. Okay, so if we go uh, to our uh, design uh, block diagram here we can add uh, if we right click and uh, select a structure we will select a while loop structure here like this and uh, but we are going to make a stop condition we are going to uh, create um, control here and uh, which is a stop button and here you can see um, we can hide uh, we can show the control here if we move back here we will not see the control and if we go back here and we uh, force it to show here you will see a stop button like this so the simulation will run if you press the run button here and if you press the stop button the simulation will be stopped so that's the uh, way of creating a um, uh, while loop in the um, lab view so we make it as an icon and uh, we move to the meter so here we have our meter so uh, the way we want to feed this is a numeric if we go to the uh, numeric and here we see a random number we will select a random number source and uh, the this random number source will generate number from 0 to 1 and if we directly feed this to the meter you will see a 0 and 1 but we know that we have uh, the value from 0 to 10 so what we need is we need this to multiply with uh, some number to make it a 10 so any number that we get from over random number generator we will multiply it with the constant of the 10 so we need to go back to our block diagram and we need a uh, method to multiply here like this and we will not uh, uh, feed directly instead we will feed through a multiplier and uh, we will create a constant here like this and we will add a number 10 so it will multiply the reading whatever random number it generates with the number of 10 and then it will feed to the meter so now if you run the simulation you will see that the reading goes to 0 to 10 but this reading will be very uh, this reading is too fast we need we want to slow it down so the way we can do to slow it down is to add a timing so we can add a wait clause here and uh, the thing that we want to wait it and we will create a constant wait statement and we will wait for a uh, 1000 which is uh, uh, 1000 millisecond and it means a total of one second so we now we are getting a one second delay so every reading will be updated after a one second so we can uh, make it fast or slower according to our needs if we need a slow reading we can add a delay more delay but if we need a faster reading we can decrease the delay so let's see if we go back to the uh, block diagram and add a 500 uh, milliseconds here and now if we run the things will go a little faster here and one more thing to note down here if we want to uh, make sure uh, if we want to add something uh, like uh, 
the we want to read uh, uh, display this actual value here and we can go back to the our front panel and we can add a numeric indicator and uh, we will add this like this and uh, here we can show the uh, value of actual uh, the uh, reading of this meter uh, we can add uh, after the uh, the blocks here or like this and if we run the simulation we will see uh, the value on in this numeric panel so the number it is displaying here and the value it is showing in a, on a meter so that's how you do the random number generation in the lab view sometime you need to add some randomness in your uh, bi's you can do this by the method with the a random number generator and we had also uh, created a delay we introduce it how to add the delay to the simulation of or the VIs of your project so we you can create the delay likewise so that's all for today's tutorial uh, if, don't forget to watch the next tutorial where I am going to explain how to add the comparison block and in the next tutorial we are going to compare this randomly generated value or you can take this uh, reading from any source and uh, next thing we are going to add the indications to this VI and uh, where we will add some LED where to indicate the up value of this thing. So that's all for today's lecture. See you in the next one.